The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by Okay, we didn't even plan it this way, but on a serious note, if you are separated from your spouse, you heard Melissa was just joking about that, but you're still under the same roof, there are some things that you should know. And Tom Ashton from Ashton Law Office says, lays out the basics for you. There's no such thing as a legal separation in Virginia. There's no legal official document that you have to have or file in order to be separated. If you're living in two separate places in Virginia, you're separated. It's also possible to live under the same roof in Virginia and be separated depending on the facts of your case. And that will be a more tricky determination that the court will have to make later on in your, in your case. The usual period of separation in Virginia is 12 months, uh, but under certain circumstances, you can reduce that period from 12 months to six months. And that only really occurs if you have no children uh, with the other party and you have a signed written property settlement agreement. So in Virginia, living separate and apart from one another, it's easy to identify your separation. It can be a little bit more tricky if you are living under the same roof to identify when you were separated and if you're actually separated from one another. If you are living under the same roof, it's important to make sure that you're keeping close track of a number of different things uh, in order to prove to the court later on that you're living like roommates and not like a married couple. It's important to make sure that you keep records, detailed records of things like splitting chores, bill paying arrangements, sleeping arrangements, and those sorts of things to ensure that you can prove to the court that you are living more like roommates and not like a married couple. It's important to talk to an attorney before you move out of the house or before you kick your spouse out of the house. Um, moving out before you know your rights and responsibilities uh, could cause you problems later on down the line. Desertion and abandonment are still grounds for divorce, fault-based grounds for divorce in Virginia, and they are taken into account in cases where spousal support and property division are issues. However, if staying put will put you or your children in a real identifiable risk of harm, you will have a chance later on in court to identify the reasons why you moved out, and that may ameliorate your issues. Before you move out, you need to ensure that you have copies of all relevant financial information like bank statements, mortgage statements, credit card statements, loan documentation, and any other documentation that you feel might be relevant to your case, whether it's property division or custody issues or spousal support concerns. The best access you will have is before you move out of the house. After you move out, you're likely to lose access to all of that information. 